Okay, I'm going to show how I actually weld these patch pieces on the axle. This really isn't a how-to video, it's more of how I do it. How I do it? <laughs> I don't really know to, you know, I get ready to do it. I just um, do what kind of seems to make sense to me. I don't sit awake and you know try to pre-plan um, so I'll show you how I do it and I'll show this one weld and then after that I'm not going to film anymore I'm just going to go after it and get it done get it welded up so this is what I have um, I knew I had to have I wanted to weld this hole and then weld over here I knew I had to have this axle beam up for my purposes and this orientation how I was gonna do that <laughs> heck it's a, it's a tube keeps wanting to lay down so I jammed a 2 by 4 in there clamped it to the sawhorse so it's there um, so I got a Miller welder. Oops, it's a auto set. And I'll probably use that setting to get it tacked in. Uh, I just turned the gas on, I got plenty of shielding gas. Turn it on. See that drop? Zero. Kick it up to 20 CFM on this needle. And there. Right at 20 a little over when I engage the trigger to little show. So for those are just a reminder when you first turn your gas on you want to completely back your regulator off until it's loose and then bring it back in. So my welder it's auto set. Uh, there's you just set it to the two whatever wire thickness you have. I have 0.30, so I kick that to 30, light comes on, what gauge, I'm running about 20 gauge sheet metal, and it's pretty well, the feed and everything gets dialed in, it's that simple. Alright. I said this isn't how I'm recommending anybody else to do this. This is just showing how Busman 54 does it. I made a sheet metal patch piece. You can see it's curved. I lay it right in there. Oh, that fits kind of nice. So now I just take this extension bar. It's a half inch extension, socket extension. Just kind of holding the piece down so I get my first tack. Yeah, it doesn't always work perfect to plan. So let's see. How do you like my welding hood? Actually, I have not. I just point and put a tack there.
How about that? Got it. Now I'm going to put a tack on this side. So now what I do, I'm going to tack in base in two spots, take an old stick welding slag hammer and I just kind of ping it down to where I close it in. So what I'm doing, like here, this edge is a little high from here. It's the same here, so I'm just tapping it down. It's warm. It forms real nice. And I'll go ahead and tack it in. That's a little warm. Doesn't look the greatest. I'll start tapping that edge and forming it up against it. I think I can a more solid material. Pick up the heat a little bit. Trim my trim my wire, my cutters, so I got the wire trimmed. Let's see if I can lay in a nice tack. Just continue the process. Keep tapping the material down to where it's tight. Don't have a gap. Tack it in. I'll try my welding hood. We've got a light the dark welding hood. See, there I go. There's my light the dark welding hood. Well, put that on. Same process. Now I'm going to go 
in the inside. Tap. Form the metal down. Got it cleaned up. So here's after the weld. So there's a patch put all along here. So all that's new. Strong metal. All strong, clean. So I did the top of this side and I had this axle in this orientation. <laughs> I came over, I don't know if you remember from previous videos, this side wasn't, was in pretty decent shape. It only had a bad spot in here. And I welded patch metal in here. So I got that welded. The next thing with it in disorientation will be welding that up and the last two items again will be inside here and inside here so that's the process or I don't even know if you call it a method method of madness but woohoo look at that Solid, no holes, weather tight. It's starting to look like a magic bus. I need to come up with a name for it, you know. I was thinking of, you know, because of the body filler, you know, maybe the Bondo Condo. I don't know, maybe I ought to put that out on my YouTube channel and see what kind of names everyone can come out with for my bus the original name and it's too long is called smoking willie so 
Smoking was the part because the back wheel locked up and when he was dragging it, smoke was coming out of it. Wheelie was, to get it up on the trailer, he got a chain, unhooked the trailer, put a chain on the truck and on this and actually yanked and pulled it up on the trailer because we kept breaking come alongs and when it came up on the trailer the trailer lifted up and it was like the bus popped a wheelie so they were calling it smoking wheelie that's too much of a compound name I don't know I guess con Bondo Condo is I may just name it after my father in honor of him his middle name was Paulus, and I think that's the name I'm going to call him. Alright, I'll load this up so you can see how I weld this, and then I'll finish the welding on this. Get it primed up. We'll see ya. Bye.